Hi, this is Rena from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you a cheap and easy origami craft that you can make for Father's Day. So this is just a heart shaped uh, piece of paper with that's shaped with a little necktie on it. So it kind of looks like a collared shirt. So this I made out of magazine, but I'm going to show you how to make it um, just using, this is just printer paper or printer paper. I printed it out. And I just wrote a world's best dad, happy father's day. You can write a personal note if you want. And it's just going to be like the pattern of the shirt. And then the back is white. So if you can use colored paper, you can do that. But I just printed it out. And then my printer prints it prints with margin. So I cut off one side and I'm going to cut off the other side. So you probably just want to cut off the margins just so it looks like it's seamless. And you probably want to use a ruler and an exacto knife, but I'm just going to use a scissor. Um, origami is better if you have perfect 90 degree angles. But if you can cut really straight, you can do it this way also. So you just want to cut out all the margins to make your paper look a little nicer so it doesn't have any margins. So there, I cut out all my margins. And now I'm just going to fold this in half and I'm going to make it into a square. So if I fold it in half on the diagonal, like so, and I just like to fold it twice to make a nice square. And I'm going to take a scissor and cut it again. So you just want to follow the line. that out and I made a square so that looks like origami paper now and this was cheap and easy to do print all you need is a printer and now I'm going to turn the paper around so you can see the line so you can see the lines that's the center of the paper but I'm gonna start this way I just wanted to see you to see the center it's a little easier with the shadows so the side that is up is going to be the color of the um, shirt and then the side in the back is the color of the necktie. So I'm going to fold my paper in half and then touch the center of the paper like so. And I'm going to fold it in half again and go to the center in half on the diagonal. And I actually already have a video tutorial of this and I made place cards but I did want to redo the tutorial because I went a little fast and my camera wasn't as good so I just want to slow down and then show you guys how to do it and I'm using different paper too. You can use wrapping paper that's what I used in my previous tutorial. So now you see you have fourths over there. So you fold it, these are eighths but it's one fourth of the half. So there. Now I'm going to take my paper and then fold it onto this line right here. Like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna take that out and I'm just gonna put it onto this third line. I guess it's the second line. Like so. Okay, I'm going to open it. Now you're going to just take your paper and go like this on the two lines that you made. And you're just going to bring it all the way up like that. And then you're going to fold it and it's going to go make a point like that. So you see that? I just folded it so that it makes a point like that. And then I just fold it like that on one side and just to get that crease on both sides. And then now I'm going to take this and fold it in half onto the center. And this is again to get the crease. So I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I got that crease. And now you're just, there's a little hole there. So you're going to stick your finger in there and you're going to open it up. And you see that is your necktie. So the necktie is going to be white and the shirt's going to be 
the print that says Happy Father's Day, number one dad. So now I'm going to turn my paper uh, to the opposite side and then flip it around. So this is the next side. Flip it around to this end and then just again fold it to the center like so. I'm going to fold my paper in half like that. So that's what you should have. And turn my paper around and that's what you should have so the necktie is still there and you see the side of the necktie I'm just gonna fold it over you see what I did I just folded it over and then I'm gonna take this end of my paper and fold it up I'm gonna fold it back and then fold this side over and then take this side of my paper and then fold it up And then fold the tie. So you see that's a little necktie there. Now I'm going to turn my paper around and I'm going to tuck this in just so the tip tucks underneath this this little flap. So around like that. And do the same thing on this side. So you're just going to tuck it in so that the tip folds into the flap. You see, it just goes into that little flap. Now I'm turning it around, and now you're making the collar. So you can just fold it to make the collar. And it also makes the shape of the heart, so you can fold it like that, and then take the turn it around, and then fold the sides in. And these are not exact on um, folding the sides and then making the collar. It's just how you want your heart to look like. So there you go. There you have your origami heart. You can stick a little note in there or I made place cards where you can put a little someone's name in there. Or you can even take this and then stick it on a card or a greeting card. Um, and then give it to your dad. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. If you happen to make this and are on Instagram, I'd love to see your craft. Just remember to tag me. My username on Instagram is thecheesethief. Thank you. Have a great day. And remember to be kind to one another. And to all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Until next time, bye now.